Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is part two of my how to enable multiple RDP sessions within uh, Windows Server 2012 and 2008. Actually, this is part two. Uh, part one, I'll show you guys how to do it with uh, using terminal service configuration uh, application within 2008. Uh, unfortunately, Server 2012 does not have the TS config uh, feature, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on a registry hack level. Now, this registry hack will work for 2008 as well, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on 2012. So what you wanna do is once you are logged in into your server 2012, you wanna do a Windows R command. You wanna type in reg edit and hit enter. Now I'm gonna expand this, make this a little bigger, expand this right here. And the node that you wanna get into is H key local machine, systems, uh, current control set uh, control and within control you want to look for the node that says terminal server where are you terminal server there it goes and within terminal server you're going to see a D word key that is called F single session per user and it's right here now by default it is on one uh, if you set now if you set to zero multiple sessions is allowed if it's on one multiple sessions are not allowed so by default it's set on one you want to put zero and hit OK and reboot your machine if not you're good to go so this will allow uh, multiple users multiple people in your IT department to log into this server without um, you know <laughs> uh, without booting anyone out so that's pretty cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this part two of how to do a registry hack. Uh, leave any comments. Don't forget about hitting that like button before you go. And on, I got two more videos to do uh, to show you uh, different ways of doing it. It's four parts and all. And part three should uh, should be exciting. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.